Good Friday morning, everyone, and welcome to Daytime Tri-Cities, a very special edition of Daytime Tri-Cities as we are live at the Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center here in Greenville. I'm Chris McIntosh. She is Amy Lynn, and we're bringing you the entire show live from here this morning, celebrating 20 years of impact. And isn't it exciting? It we're is. We're here, it like, on the main stage, yes. and look at this beautiful backdrop behind us. They've done us. a fantastic job. I yes. mean, how nice. And yes, 20 years, mm -hmm. and we've been looking around. Chris, I made it to the um, back into the green room this morning right where of course all of the musicians and the oh, performers yeah. wow they've got a nice green room <laughs> right. i want to get ready there every morning she wants one of oh, those, those up around our office yes. area there at the station mm. but let's get you some history behind the nice longer performing arts center here in greenville it was part of a renovation plans for greenville high school in 1999 it eventually opened up in 2004 and was named in honor of local businessman and philanthropist scott nice who contributed over six Six million dollars to the project. And we're going to be talking with him a little later on mm -hmm. in the show. NPAC is a 39,000 square foot facility. It has a seating capacity of more than 1,100 guests. And the first concert at the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center was Gladys Knight. And here to tell us a little bit more about her return and her upcoming performance, we have Vicki Hudson joining us, of yes. course, from the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center. Vicki, thank you so much for hosting us today. Thank you for being here. We're so excited. It's exciting. And Gladys Knight. You, that just you know you go back and you think about that 20 years ago that and she's going to be here again it's going to be fantastic it is going to be great she was the grand opening performer here in january of 2005 we'll have her back near the end of november this year so we're really excited to have her back and of course your 20th anniversary season kicked off just last weekend that first act and then now looking through your brochure what an incredible season i feel like you have planned a little bit of everything for everyone we definitely try to have the variety we had exile open the season this past weekend it was a great show a 20 minute encore so it was very exciting for everyone who attended and you looking at looking at that schedule looking what you got coming up just the rest of this year and the beginning of next year we're going to start talking about the arrival from sweden the abba tribute talk to us about that group we had them back in 22 and they were such a hit with all of the people who were here uh, that we decided to bring them back this season they're actually in sweden right now so they kick off their uh, first tour leg here in the states at impact oh wow that is exciting yeah. and of course when you think about the music from an abba tribute band it gotta love the crowd when you look out and you see everybody yep. it is so hard nobody's sitting still in the audience yes. <laughs> they are not they're, they're definitely everybody's dancing singing along yeah too. yeah yes. they're singing along we saw lots of platform shoes and bell bottoms at the last oh, show everybody gets dressed up it's just the energy and it the is. atmosphere mm -hmm. and for someone like me who grew up in the 70s okay you got the artemis Pyle band coming in artemis Pyle was the was the drummer for leonard skinner all those years and it, he's bringing his band here that's going to be fantastic fantastic show as well. It is going to be a great show. Uh, there's some video on our website of their Opry debut and they just put on a fantastic show there. So we're super, super excited to have them here. Um, he is the only surviving member of the classic Leonard Skinner lineup. Oh man, that's going to be an incredible. That is, line. I know that's going to touch a mm -hmm. lot of folks around here because yeah. Leonard Skinner is such a big part of our our, our young age, our teenage years. <laughs> takes yeah. you back in time. It takes a me back bit. just a little bit. Rocking yeah. days. Oh, well, I'm still rocking. <laughs> I'm still rocking, and, and I love being here on the stage because you've had so many great acts. I saw Pat Benatar here. I mean, Hootie has been here. Hootie and the Blowfish. You've had so many great acts here over the years. We have a lot of them. We're we're bringing back this season. Tracy Lawrence, Ricky Skaggs. Colin and Brad, those were all favorites from over the years. Um, but, you know, we've got some new ones this year, too. Sarah Evans has never been right. here. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to have her in October. Uh, it's just going to be a great season. And then let's talk game shows, Vicki. Yes. Because I'm pretty excited about this. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming. <laughs> That's right. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be right here on the stage. It is an exact replica of the iconic wheel that everyone is so excited about, and it's coming to Greenville. And buy a model, right, Chris? Uh, <laughs> it's $250. I'll yeah. buy a model. But I'm going to tell you, Vicki, when you look at the, your, your facility here, I mean, it just is fantastic. It's it's it conducive to any kind of group you want to bring in here, any kind of act, anything that goes on, you can make it happen right here on this stage. The acoustics are fantastic, and the artists just love performing here. We have a great crew, we have a great staff, and I'm just so proud of everyone here and everything that they do to contribute to Greenville. 
and have. just what sticks out to me is this video wall right here. Isn't I mean, that awesome? It is, it is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a great addition for this season. It was just installed this summer, so we're really excited to use it for all the performances this year. And I know the community is so grateful to have this facility right mm -hmm. here, bringing in people from near and far to be able to see all of these incredible shows. All of the incredible shows are wonderful. We do lots of community events too. The Tusculum right. uh, Community Band will be here in November doing a uh, Veterans Day celebration performance. So in addition to everything we do here, we do so much with the schools. We have an education series where we bring in students for field trips. We have four in that series this year. Um, that starts in November as well. So we just maintain a very busy schedule here. Yeah, I saw that on the website, right. the educational component. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And the well, camps and giving kids those opportunities that yeah. they wouldn't have otherwise. Camp we'll Impact Kids are yeah. some of our favorite weeks of the year. I bet. I yeah. bet. I've seen the pictures. It looks like they're having a ball. Mm -hmm. They right. do. <laughs> we got a lot going on this morning, folks. We want you, Vicki, thank you so much for having us down here today. We're enjoying this so much. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Folks, we got a great day planned for you here on Daytime Tries cities we want you to stay with us but right now we want you to take in our day